Welcome to trout fishing in Iowa. And <laughs> once again, I've crossed the border in Wisconsin, Steuben, Wisconsin, in the Wisconsin Driftless, just north of the Wisconsin River. And today, Steve Wallace style, I'm in a stealth camp behind the town sign. Not actually, I'm gonna camp in this tiny cabin back here uh, behind the town sign. So we are um, in the heart of the Driftless on the Kickapoo River. And ideally, we were gonna do a little bit of uh, fishing in the river itself. But as you can see, the river is fairly swollen right now. This is kind of crazy because we're in basically drought conditions in Iowa. Uh, but up here in Wisconsin, they're having some flooding. So it's Friday afternoon. Um, I just got here. Psychology D is going to meet me in the morning because uh, his daughter has a play tonight. What she didn't know is that the D stands for dad. He's an excellent dad. And uh, he's going to be uh, going to his kid's performance tonight so he can do that and then come up tomorrow. And we're going to fish. We're going to fish probably the Big Green River, Castle Rock Creek. And we might get into Plum Creek, which is just up the road as well. So we're going to do some camping and some recreating before the semester starts, uh, brainstorming what we're going to do with our class this fall and hopefully catch some fish. So thanks for tuning in. Trout fishing in Iowa crosses the border once again to Wisconsin. Let's get on some fish. I'm here at a beautiful spring pond that is part of the property of the people from whom I'm renting the cabin. Uh, they mentioned I could come up here and check out this spring and I was just looking at their website. They have an artist retreat over here and it mentioned a spring pond stocked with rainbow trout that was available for fishing. Um, so I'm not sure if it's exactly this pond. I may ask for more uh, details tomorrow but uh, if nothing else it's going to be beautiful to go over here and look at this pond and uh, I just love springs. This is a really pretty one. Um, over here it comes down into a valley. Oh, there's some deer running down there. There's this really pretty little clear pool down here. This would probably be a great place to fish as well. Um, although it looks like it might be a swimming hole. There's some tubes there and cool noodles. So I probably won't fish here. Um, but what a cool place. So I don't know. We'll see if there's any fish here. Here's a little fellow that lives in the pond. He just swam out from under the branch there. He's a very handsome little guy. I haven't seen any trout yet. But man, this is really pretty. A lot of watercress um, and just some really nice plants. And there's kind of a little cascading waterfall up here. So go check this out. Uh, here we see the source of the spring. Wow, look how pretty this is. Issues out of the hillside. Right here we've got some really beautiful rocks over which it runs. Kind of, you can see the natural slope of drainage down here. And it goes down here and uh, forms this amazing riffle. And it goes down into the stream into the stream uh, and into the spring pond. <sighs> this is a little piece of heaven right here. The temperature in this lovely little stream issuing from the spring is right at 50 degrees. Um, so that's really important because it's a very hot and dry summer this year. We're in a historic drought, so cool water like this keeps the trout alive. As I'm looking, at this lovely pond. I don't think there are trout in here. Um, I'm not saying that just because I haven't caught one. That's not uncommon. Uh, but usually in a spring pond like this you would at least see them kind of swimming around, maybe fleeing uh, my clumsy walking around and I don't see anything like that. And I see uh, insects struggling on the surface and no trout coming to eat them. So I think the thing on the website, either I have the wrong spring pond 
or perhaps it's a little bit out of date. Um, but this is still really a lovely, lovely pond and very close to the cabin, just like less than a mile away. So it's totally worth it. All right, well, folks, I've got Psychology D here. He's fresh out of the DSM up here in the Wisconsin Driftless, and we are at the Big Green River. We're checking out Uncle Pete's Bridge here, see if we have some brown or brook trout, and then we're gonna work our way upstream and check out Castle Rock Creek probably before the day is over. So w your first time in the Wisconsin Driftless? Yes. What do you think so far? It's awesome. It's it beautiful a, up here too. It really is. Low 70s. Yep. We do some public fishing today. Public fishing only, no private fishing here. Well, let's see if we find some trout. Okay, well, after fishing the Big Green, we came up to Castle Rock Creek and starting by the bridge here in the public area. Um, the water is pretty stained today, a little muddy. They've had a lot of rain up here. Saw it in the flooding on the Kickapoo in the Wisconsin. So we're gonna fish our hoppers here and uh, just see what we can do. This place is a lot harder to fish in August than in April. The weeds are pretty darn high um, but we're going to work our way down and try this and some other spots and just see how it goes. Yeah, I don't know if this one's any better. You might want to go... I don't know. Hallelujah. Whew, I tell you. All right, well, uh, we had a pretty fun day. Uh, Castle Rock Creek had a lot of obstacles, <laughs> I'd say. Uh, we bushwhacked through there, it was about head high weeds and it was very hot so we came out here to big spring and i don't know what do you think of the place man this is one of the coolest places i've been honestly um i don't know it's pretty amazing out here. very relaxing no comments on my hair or oh, mine probably pissed off but i'm not wearing a hat gotta wear a hat protect from the sun yo beautiful out here take a road trip an excellent road trip we soaked our feet in this very cold spring, and even though it's uh, kind of a hot, dry day in the Driftless, the spring is, is doing really well. So, good day of fishing. We didn't catch any fish, but that is never necessary. Thank you for tuning in. You're going to see more of me and Psychology D uh, this summer. I'm sure we're going to get out and hit the streams quite a bit uh, through the end of the summer and the fall. So, thanks for watching Trout Fishing in Iowa. See you next time.